So we'll try not to film any of you all best we can, because I know some of you are like, I don't want to be showing up on channel 17, you know. Somebody's got insomnia at 2 in the morning, wants to learn about mechanics. But anyway, what I have here is, this is Eric Olson. He's your textbook representative. And this is Andrew Neflau. He's one of our graduate students, and he's interested in physics education. And so did you all smell the uh, cedar and cedar dust and all that kind of stuff? You guys are lab rats for the physics education side, if you want to be. So that's what he's going to talk to you about. As soon as Eric is done teaching you all about um, the uh, Mastering Physics, okay, and the textbook, all right? And so that'll take about five minutes. Andrew will take about five, five of your minutes, and I'll take about 30 going through the syllabus, and then we'll call it a night, okay? All right, for the first night. And, yeah, it's warm. Uh, break, out the, uh, break out the little faith bands here. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, I gotta turn you on. I, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I'm sorry. I forgot. We gotta go to the. Oh, I hope this works. Is it working? We have a green light. No. Come on now. Come on. Don't do this to me. Oh, there we go. We've got. We got Nirvana. We got. It will. It will work. What's that? Yeah, this is physics 210. Yeah. Oh, y'all be pleased to know that when it gets cold outside, this room's cold. So that's good. So it'll be cool eventually, but only when it's freezing outside. <laughs> How are you doing, everybody? <laughs> We're in physics. Physics is fun, right? It is, man. It's cool once you get into it. Um, so my name is Eric Olson. Come on in. What? I am your... What's that? No, this is Physics 210. I'm your representative with... Uh-oh. You want a mic on? Oh. All right. Ready to go. There we go. All right. There we go. My name is Eric Olson, and I am your representative with Pearson Education. I uh, worked with your instructor to get you into the materials that you're going to be using to help you learn physics. Cool? Awesome. You at home? Cool? All right. May I borrow your book, please? Thank you. In the bookstore, you will see this nifty package. It contains the hardcover textbook, okay? It also contains an access code card for mastering physics, okay? This is where your homework will be done for the course. If you do not enroll in mastering physics and do the homework in mastering physics, chances are you will not do well in the course. True? True. That's True. 40% of your grades. 40, that's a lot. So I highly recommend that everybody get access to mastering, okay? There are ways to do that other than the hardcover book and the access code. This is about $180 in the bookstore. Something like that. It's two semester course, so we're talking ninety dollars a semester. Okay, not bad when you're getting an English lit book for like one hundred and thirty that you read like two stories from, right? It's something that you're going to be using every single day. Okay, if you do not choose to go through the bookstore, there's a couple ways to go. Okay, let's see here. In the bookstore, the text and everything is one eighty seven forty. Okay, that believe it or not is going to be your best value. Okay. You can also, um, if you are comfortable working out of an ebook, so just the computer online, the bookstore is going to have access code cards coming in soon that are 113.15. Gives you all the material, every page of the textbook, just in electronic form. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, if you're sharing with a friend, okay, say your roommate has a book or whatever, you can go right into Mastering Physics, register as a new student, tell them no, you need to purchase access now, right? If you get it from the bookstore, you'll have the yes, I have an access code, so obviously you'll click that. If you need access, no, I purchase now, select the little uh, skier guy, just like is on the front of the regular book, 
Okay? And then, no thanks, I don't want an ebook. If you do it with an ebook online, you can purchase everything you would get in the access code card from the bookstore for $108.10. So it saves you, what, about $5 to do it directly online. If you want to do it through the bookstore, that's certainly an option. If you don't want to have the ebook access, you just select no. And we're thinking, you're going to get a bunch of legal stuff here, just saying that we're not going to sell any of your information. You accept that and you can get access to do your homework for only $45. Okay? So we have the, the best value, hardcover book, access code for 180 at the bookstore, access code with ebook in the bookstore for 113, access for masteringphysics.com with the ebook for 108, or if you're sharing a book, you can get access to the homework component for 45. Everybody have those price points clear. Okay, purchase it well. Just want to give you guys the choices. So now, knowing all that stuff and getting all of that info. Mastering physics lasts for both semesters. Correct. So, you buy them. so it's good for two semesters. What Eric Hatt didn't tell you though is, um, you may, how many of you are pre-med, pre-farm, all that kind of stuff, have to take those nasty tests that they're going to give you all when you're um, What Eric didn't tell you all, if you don't buy the hard, the good old, the way I like to read the book with paste and paper and stuff like that, um, your mastering physics and your ebook goes away after two years, right? So when you're going back to do your research later on, you won't have a textbook anymore. Right? So that's the drawback for not getting real, so you, you, you do save some money up front if you uh, you know just do the ebook form, but like your instructor said, you're not going to have the ability to go back and check. The ebook is right here, okay? I mean, you can scroll through absolutely anything that, that you want to go through. All right, I'm going to chapter 14. This isn't your book, but you'll get the idea. Okay, interactive figures. We're going to dive right into it. So I mean, there's uh, several tools that you can use on top of just the homework component. All right? Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, cool. Now, we're going to ignore that slide. Okay, so let's see here. Where's the slideshow? There it is. All right, well, we'll do it here. For every 109th uh, graders in high school, only 68 graduate on time. Are there any freshmen in this class? Looks like an older class, so that's good. Oh, we do have, okay, congratulations on making it through. Did you make it through in four years? Awesome. You were one of 68 out of that 100 that made it through in four years. So you're doing all right. Um, others, uh, other freshmen, only 40 out of that initial 100 enrolled directly into college. Of that, 27 are still enrolled their sophomore, junior, senior year. Okay. Of those, only 18 earn a bachelor's degree within six years. Okay. 82 don't make it. So if, if you make it within that six years, you guys have done something right, okay? Master in Physics is going to help you do that in this class, all right? Um, you'll notice here, obviously, if you're a new student, you're going to click on New Students to register, right? If you need support, there's a support button right there for you. We'll get back to that in a second. All right. We talked about this on how to sign up for, uh, for an ebook, or I'm sorry, with the access code, if you have one, if you already have an access code, you're there. No, you need to purchase. It's very, very user-friendly, very, very intuitive. Everybody's ordered some, something from online. You know how to fill out all the forms. We're good. This is where you're going to enter your access code. So in the book, there's a little peel-back deal. It's a bunch of numbers. You just put it in. Type in all the information. You log in, or you can log in from the Master in Physics homepage. Master in Physics, masteringphysics.com is a web address you are going to want to remember. Okay. Uh, you're going to get your course ID from your instructor later. You're going to enter your student ID here. If you have a school ID, that's generally what they recommend, so grades can be posted, what have you. We can, it's easier for them to upload into other grade books, not for you to worry about. The course ID you're going to get in your syllabus. This is where you're going to enter it. Click Save and OK to continue. You're automatically going to be enrolled in the course. All right? Now it's participation time. I know it's cut off a little bit here, so it's tricky. But this is a button on, the, on your home page after you log in. If you press that, what do you think is going to come up? Assignments. Oh, assignments, homework, perfect. What's this here? Scores. Scores on your homework, right? What's this? That's your ebook, okay? 
you click on that, it's going to give you the entire textbook online. Your pre-built study area here, uh, how many are, is going on to a medical profession, dental, whatever? There's um, MCAT, test prep in there. You guys can go, it's free. You see everybody around on campus trying to sell you guys test prep stuff? You've got it for free right here. Oh, well, kind of for free. You bought access, but it's another tool, okay? Assignments, uh, everything is interactive, hyperlinked. You click on that problem, and it's gonna take you right to the homework. Okay, this is what it looks like. I highly encourage that you do the first Welcome to Mastering homework assignment. It's going to get you familiar with the platform, how you answer, uh, um, how you enter answers, okay, how you review parts, how you submit, if there's a hint associated with the problem, okay. It's a great tool to be using. The ebook we talked about and the masteringphysics.com support, okay. Our instructor's here to teach you physics. These are the people that support people at this web address. That's where you go if you can't log in, if you're having a problem entering answers, okay. That's where you start. Place two you go is directly to me. My email address, if you so desire, is eric.olson at pearson.com. That's E-R-I-C dot O-L-S-O-N at pearson.com, okay? If you don't feel like you're getting the help or the support you need, let me know. I want you guys to be successful, okay? That's all I have. Does anybody have any questions about price points, about options, um, about what is going to be included or required. Anybody? Yes, sir. It didn't work differently whether you have a Mac or a PC, does it? Oh, works the same. You bet. I use it both. I've got a Mac at home and my PC here, and it, it, it does pretty well. I mean, it does just fine. And their support, um, I needed to call their support. I figured out what the problem was on me getting to the test bank and stuff. Okay. I've got to do it. Well, I want to tell you others, they need to do another walk-in. Gotcha. Is what, is what you got to do. Okay. But anyway, I sent them, maybe it's because I had the instructor code that I sent them on. But they got back to me within like 45 minutes with a phone call, which I thought was pretty cool. But anyway, so they, they do support you. Yeah, you're, you're not going to wait a week for a reply. Um, everything is online. There's 24-7 online chat. I mean, you're going to get the support that you deserve, okay? Anybody else? All right, well, good luck in physics. Let me know if there's anything uh, that I can do to help you in mastering physics um, besides answer the problems. I'm not going to help you with that. But, but I can absolutely help you with any login information or anything else. All right, good luck, guys. Thank you. Next presenter is Andrew uh, Neflau, right? How do you pronounce it? I've always just called you Andrew for four years. So anyway, Nefco. Nefco. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah. Um, he's going to, and this doesn't need to be recorded because the people at home aren't going to participate in this, so it's okay. Um, he's going to tell you about his uh, research project that um, he's going to basically give you a uh, uh, a way. He's going to explain it to you, then you can fill it out online, permission that he can download your social security number. Kidding. It's not, it's not that at all. Anyway, all right, go ahead. Now, um, basically, uh, we're doing a study that is going to assess um, success factors for students in here. So we're going to be looking at a variety of things. Um, really, what you're going to have to do is fill out about an hour's worth of time within the next two weeks of online surveys. And then at a certain point in your course, I will send those that are participating an email for you to fill out additional surveys. They have no effect on your grade whatsoever in this class. In fact, uh, Mr. Riggs right here won't even be able to see the results or know who's participating in them. So um, due to the nature of this uh, research, I have to read these two paragraphs right here to you. So don't fall asleep. Uh, so let's see, we are performing a study to explore which factors are correlated with success in an introductory physics course. We will be looking at mathematics skill, reading ability, and scientific reasoning survey, and a student's attitude. Um, also, there will be a, an assessment of participants' physics and knowledge. Participants will be expected to complete a selection of these surveys within the next two weeks and the remainder two months from now. For participating, you will receive four extra credit points 
I forgot to put that on the syllabus, but I'm the honorable guy. Only four get four. Those are like, like percentage points or something, right? Uh, well, not, not four. percentage points. <laughs> 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 Woo! Mm -hmm. Not, uh, not no, 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 just four. Four, four extra credit points. Well, I'll explain it later. Yeah, as outlined by the four syllabus. <laughs> uh, the inclusion of a, particip of a participant's personal responses are done in an aggregate form and may be presented publicly um, only after your consent, which means no one, no one will actually know your responses with your name. I will only take like averages of responses for one question, you know, just like that, pretty much. Um, so, are any of you interested in doing this? Raise your hand. All right, super duper. If I could just have you sign these real quick. Keep your hands raised. Um, Great question. Yes. Um, as far as results go, will you be able to compile this all to show how you sit as an individual against the majority? Um, actually, in all honesty, or what I the data will be there so you can get yourself. There, well, you won't be able to actually see the results of uh, this study per se. Um, do you want to know? I mean, it's um, it's comprised of a. Uh, we're going to test your uh, mathematics skills, uh, a reading survey, and, but and then your achievement level, which will be done by a mechanics baseline test, which is just you'll take a test, um, like in the next week, and then we'll give it to you later. Uh, and then we're going to get a difference the in the test. score. Yes, the same test. Can we opt out too if we? Yes, yes, I, I, I will discuss it's that. If it's not what? It's not, you feel that's like crap. <laughs> okay, basically, um, what goes on is uh, yes, you may. You may opt. You can. Um, here, I'll just go ahead and You can not participate. You, 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 you can start participating and then um, just say you don't want to anymore. Uh, you obviously won't get the extra credit then, you know. And if you do the first part and not the second part, your data doesn't really matter to me. Since I can't go drop you as a participant. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, you're no longer a participant. So, yeah. Does that, does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, these are just pretty much what I've gone, what I've gone over before. Our purpose, uh, description of procedures are just, oh, it's gonna be a Blackboard site. So basically, if you sign this, and you know, I will add you to a, a website, and I'll send you all emails, and the surveys are just on there. And you just take them, it takes an hour to complete the first set. Not each survey isn't an hour. It's just, you know, there's some algebra, and then you have to read a passage and answer some questions. So, and it is voluntary, it's completely voluntary. Not forcing you into anything. So, um, and there is no risk to you since it's not included in your grade. And in fact, um, Mr. Riggs, really, it can't even. Oh, look at it. It can't even look at the Blackboard site. So, yes. And in case of injury, very important. You injure yourself doing a math problem. Uh, you can have. Yeah, it will. Well, you can uh, talk to Dr. Stoddard, who is my advisor. Yes. So, if you're okay with all that uh, and want to participate, participate, please sign that, and I will take it from you right now. If you're so inclined. Thank you. And yes, yeah. thank you very much for participating. You've made my life a lot easier. I'll send this to you. So I didn't have to make up any results. What's that? Uh, right, that's right. Well, it's he's doing good education research. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, there's Get everybody on? What's that? Because I don't know. It, because you want to your your Say what?
Yes, 240 is the uh, calculus based physics. Right. Oh, 220 is. Uh, physics 2. Physics 2. Partially, though, Gym the reason why. 2, as I call it. Yeah. The reason why there's no physics 2 section is because <laughs> there's no uh, approved standard for testing achievement in physics 2. Just in case you wanted to know. Right. All right. Did I get everything from everybody? Andrew's going to come up with one. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, but thank you very much, and uh, you'll, be getting, you'll be getting an email if you want to report. All right, thank you for participating. Thanks, Andrew. All right, greetings. Welcome. After all that, uh, we're 20 minutes into the, your first day of physics. Again, I am Mr. Riggs. I am uh, Bob Riggs. I'm your instructor for this course. And basically what we're going to do, we have to do it, um, is we're going to go through the syllabus. All right? It's kind of that Bueller, anyone, anyone, portion. Well, Physics in general can be that way, but um, and uh, then then we'll kind of call it uh, an evening. I think since they've left those doors closed out here, um, the out, the right outside doors, it's starting to get a little bit cooler in here. It's not as bad as when I first walked out. May I just use it? Anyway, my background is this is my fourth year at UMKC as an instructor, as a full-time instructor. Um, I am not full disclosure. I am not a physicist. Okay, I'm an educator. Um, I was a, a math and science teacher um, after I got out of the Marines. I spent 12 years active duty in the Marine Corps and then uh, as an officer and then retired from the reserves after 12 years in the reserves. And um, so that's what I did in my first life. Second life, um, I taught in the, uh, some alternative schools in Kansas City for about 10 years and then wound up here. Um, and my emphasis is in education and math and science, mainly math uh, education and science and physics, okay? Um, I'm certified to teach physics, so, uh, and after four years, I've pretty much got it memorized now. I think I can whittle us through it. So that's my background real quick. All right, now, so without further ado, let's go ahead and go through the syllabus because there might be some questions that we'll tie, that we can tie up. Are any of you that are here, um, my distance learning students, are there any distance learning students here? Okay. Some of you are going, I had an option to not be here? Yes, you do. You can, you can always change over to the distance learning option if you want because we, this will be on probably within the next 24 hours. This, the lectures will be on uh, YouTube UMKC. Y'all been there yet? There's, there's actually a... UMKC YouTube site that you can go to and go scroll down to Physics 210. So if you ever miss a lecture, you can just go there and you'll see what you missed. Okay? You can't make up quizzes that way though. All right? So you, you got to be either all, all, all in or, or, or not. All right. Well, anyway. So, okay. Here we go. Office hours. This is the wrong class. Oh, it should be VOB. There we go. That's the first, that's the first fix. All right, now, office hours, those are kind of hard. How many of you are working adults and you come flying in here right after you get off work? Okay, quite a few of you. All right, uh, one of the things then um, is I always like to try and stop lecture at 6.30 anyway, even though we're supposed to go to 6.45. Um, re education research shows that you're at your peak brain right about now, okay, and then about 15, 20 minutes from now you'll be way down here. But how do we teach you math? We start nice and, and physics. We start nice and eat, you know, we kind of do the Tina Turner thing, right? We, we start nice and easy, but then we end rough, right? And so, and that's the way we do rolling on the river. You all remember Tina? Anyway. Um, so, anyway, um, when we're ending rough, your brain is way down here. So I like to end at 6.30 anyway, all right? And then that way we can answer questions from those of you that are working and stuff, okay? All right, and I'll stay to, we'll just go down to my office and I'll stay till about seven, okay? Since the mentalist doesn't start till eight, so we're okay right now. All right, now, um, so this is the textbook. You've already been through that on the textbook. And one of the things with the office hours I'd like to, um, that we might look at is trying to make um, one of them for homework, just to talk about homework. All right, perspectives. We'll cover the first 14 chapters of the book. Yeah, right, all right, but that's what we say. 
All right, we'll, we'll try and get as far as we can. All right, um, and you're going to learn about the behavior of a uh, golf ball whack by Tiger Woods on the moon, say, or, um, and we're also going to shoot a ping pong ball at close to supersonic speed. You get to see how air pressure really works. We've got this little ping pong cannon that's kind of cool, all right, and um, dangerous. <laughs> so anyway, class attendance and participation, I think, are important. Bring your calculator to every class. My evening class is actually my favorite one because I actually get to know all your names pretty quickly. Okay, and, um, and we will do a daily quiz, maybe a week. It's actually going to be more weekly probably, okay, uh, that you'll turn in at the end of each class period. But, and I'll talk more about that later. Okay, and, that makes, and that's 15% of your grade. So please come to class. Now, let's get down to brass tacks here. Let me put this down. Like, I don't, there, all right. Now, grades. Here we go. Grades. Homework assignments, 40%. Your lab, 25%. Four exams, no drops is only 20% of your grade. So think about that. Four exams, it's only 5% of your grade, all right? So, um, and we'll talk more about what the exams actually look like. And the daily quizzes are worth 15. Here's why I grade this way. Notice, 15 plus 25 plus 40 is 80%. You spend 80% of your time going to lab, going to lecture, and um, you'll be taking the, quiz and taking the quizzes. So that's what, and doing your homework. So that's what you should, most of your grades should be on, I think, all right? And also, the homework assignments, uh, for right now, you get unlimited attempts and they're multiple choice. <laughs> Think about that one for a minute. <laughs> Unlimited attempts, multiple time. Click, <laughs> click, click. You know. um, but I think the grading goes down a little bit each time um, they try. All right. So, so the exams are only worth five percent. Okay. Now here's the grading scale. All right. And most of us will be. Most of my classes, we, we kind of hang around up here for the most part. Okay. Not, don't want to scare. Oh, I turned it. I've never done that. <laughs> Microsoft Word for idiots. There we go. Let's go back. All right. Now, homework. You've already seen the mastering physics um, thing. Uh, and what I'm going to try and do starting next week, I'm going to give you all a week to buy it and to get logged on and do all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is after each lecture, I'm going to assign three problems after the Tuesday lecture and about five problems after the Thursday lecture so that you're always doing the problems, OK? Instead of assigning 15 problems due in two weeks, which I find students find that, what do they do? They wait till day 13 and try and do all 13 problems. And I get emails at 3 o'clock on Sunday morning saying, I can't do. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, so what I want you to do is to, is to keep, keep, um, keep on top of it. So uh, I'll have the homework due, like the Tuesday assignment will actually be due by the beginning of class on Thursday. In other words, the computer will tell me whether or not you've been a good person um, and actually went and tried, right? Um, all right, so that's what, that's the goal. We'll see if that happens or not, all right? That's, so that'll keep you doing. So basically, it boils down to seven days in a week. I want you doing about one physics problem a day, all right? Physics problem a day keeps the C's and D's away, all right? Okay, now, labs. I didn't put this in the uh, syllabus, but labs to me, they're my windows. I don't do them, OK? I don't like to answer questions about them or anything like that. So make sure when you go to lab, start next week, lab start next week, that you get the name of your lab instructor and his email address or her email address so that if you've got a problem with lab, you can um, contact them, all right? OK, so, um, and remember, uh, the labs are difficult and a little complicated, and the machinery doesn't always work perfectly, but that's kind of the way science is, 
right? And so, for the most part, nobody stays there too long. You go to the lab, it's for an hour and 50 minutes, and you're usually out of there in an hour and 50 minutes. There's, there's none of that, like, can happen in biology and chemistry where you're there for six hours trying to get this dang reaction to work. Now, nah, you'll be fine, okay? All right, exams, 20% of your grade, all right? Four in-class exams are given during the semester with one of these four occurring during finals week. The exams are gonna be in traditional physics style. In other words, I've tried using open book, I've tried using um, take home exams and stuff like that, but basically what I've done is I've flip-flopped the homework and the exam weight, okay? So that, because you're doing your homework at home and you can work with other people and stuff like that, and that's 40% of your grade, whereas the exams, I just need to know if you can do some of the problems on your own, all right? But you can bring in a uh, um, eight and a half by 11 front and back filled with all the formulas and physical laws that you want, okay? And if you want to go to Kinko's and shrink it down and keep shrinking and get more stuff on there, guess what you're doing? You're studying and you won't even look at it because you'll know the material, all right? So you'll be fine. So I don't, I don't worry about that. I don't collect up the cheat sheet at the end or anything like that. And if we have an exam on Tuesday, which I think we most exams on Thursday, the last 15 minutes, I'll tell you exactly what kind of problems are going to be on it. I don't like surprises. And, and um, there's enough test anxiety and anxiety with physics as it is because it's math and science put together, all right? Okay, so that you should be. How many of you had algebra-based physics in high school? A little bit, okay. You guys are head of the power curve here a little bit. But that's all right. Okay. All right, now, dates of the exams. Here we go. Here's, I've never done this before, but I've decided that this is what we will do. Oh, I called up the wrong exam. Um, our exam is actually, I called up the wrong thing. Shoot, because that, uh, hold on one second. Yes, keep the changes. Um, blackboard, aren't I on the right course here? This is supposed to be you all. Uh, oh dear. I put on the wrong exam time. <laughs> one second. I'm going to, come on. All right. Come on. Now, now it decides not to work. Okay. Good enough. Yeah. I know they're too busy. Okay, let's try this again. All right, here we go. Final exam schedule. You can always find the final exam schedule right here. And I put the wrong one on your syllabus. What an idiot. And then I go and make a big deal about it there. Okay, this is fall 2009. There it is. Okay, so for this class, we meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5.30. So right here is your final exam schedule. I could have swore I put that on the, okay? And, and remember, it's not a final. It's just your last test. So it'll be over chapters like 12, 13, and 14, all right? It's not, it's not a final final, okay? And so you'll meet here on a Tuesday night at 5.45 to 7.45, okay? All right, and let's go back through some more of the syllabus here. Oh, I apologize for this. Oh, I see this. Remember the name. Come on. Help a brother out. Okay, there we go. Yeah. 
<sighs> Nothing more painful than sitting there watching someone flick through web pages, is there? I apologize for that. Open, trust me. We got to get down here to this final exam schedule. I got to change it. It is December 15th from 545 to 745. There we go. PM. All right. Now. Not this, 15th. Five, 45 to 7, 45. All right, now, don't ask me. I kind of said this, this is, I won't do that, but anyway. Um, <laughs> so, because I even put it up there wrong, silly me, all right? Yeah, I want you to replace that existing file. There we go. All right, now, um, so here's the final exam. Extra credit. We're almost done with this. We're almost done with this. Just hang in there a little bit longer. Extra credit throughout the semester. You've already got, you already had a chance at four extra credit points by joining Andrew's thing. Um, there's all kinds of, uh, did you know, on Friday evenings, if the sun, if, if it's a clear night, uh, at dusk, right over there in Royal Hall at the, on the, ceil on the roof of Royal Hall is a, is a telescope. And the Kansas City Astronomical Society runs that thing. And they have like an open house. And you can go there at dusk for about an hour and a half. And they've got all these neat computers and stuff. And you'll go look at the stars. And, it's, and if you go do that and just tell me you did it, kind of send me a little email, that's five extra credit points for doing that. OK, yeah. Really, you telescope? Yeah, 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 they got a, they, yeah. It's not one. I mean, it's, we don't have the Hubble, you know, or anything like that. But yeah, we've got a nice little telescope up there. Um, and uh, there will be things. I, I will post things as they, uh, sometimes Linda Hall Library has interesting speakers, like NASA astronauts and stuff like that, um, that I will tell you about. And you can go to those for five extra credit points. We also have these things called colloquiums. And now that I'm on film, I better be careful about how I talk about them. But basically, um, I've gotten students to go to those. And it's painful. Because really what they are is they're for people who we have these lectures who talk about physics, OK? But not about the physics that you're doing. They're doing stuff that they're researching, like in, in materials and things like that. And um, there's probably four other people in the whole world that know what they're talking about, all right? So I'm sitting there going, oh, man, all I want is a fat tire. You know, it's Friday afternoon, 3.30. We're going, whoo. But anyway, they only last an hour, and you can get five points for attending one of those, too, if you want to do that. All right. And I kind of take role there. OK. And um, you can also read a book that's related to physics. And it doesn't have to be a physics book book. I mean, uh, there's been some. Uh, there's a good biography on Einstein is out there written by Walter Isaacson that's, that's um, engaging and I think it won a Pulitzer Prize. Um, so it's fun to read. Uh, there's like Brian Greene's things on the elegant universe and, and um, other just general science books just to get you reading science. So there's all kinds of ways to earn 20 extra credit points. And what I'll do basically is I add those points to your worst test score. So let's say your test was, you got a 65 on one. But you did all your extra credit. Guess what? That test is now an 85, OK? So that's, that's the way we handle that. All right? OK. And so you already have four. I'll have to, you'll have to, I'll have to get your name somehow. All right. You know, I'm not supposed to know them, so I'm going to see how we're going to do that. OK. All right. Lecture notes. Oh, by the way, lecture notes are available on Blackboard now. The slides are there, OK? So that um, I've never used that discussion board to share questions and answers. I've never seen anyone do it. So I need to just cut out that line. But so um, I encourage you to print off the lecture notes so that way you've got, I will try and follow them the best I can. I'm not very good at that. but. Um, we'll do that. 
Okay. All right, academic dishonesty, we don't need to know, you know, never had any problem with that. The reason is, I don't look for it, okay? As long as you don't look for it, it's not going on, okay? This is on tape, isn't it? I'm going to get in trouble. But anyway, but I am a believer in the cheating karma bus, all right? So yeah, you might get over on me, but one of these days, you're going to be trying to cross Rock Hill, and someone's going to get you, all right? So, okay. And say, what did I do? You cheated on my dad. That's what happened. <laughs> Squash boy. All right, anyway. Um, so, tutors. Tutoring will be available starting next week. Okay? Um, and that's right downstairs in room 259 in our little physics lounge area down there. Okay? And you will have uh, hours. There will be hours posted for 210 students, uh, which, of course, um, they actually accommodate you all. They, they have hours from 7 to 9 on like Tuesday or Thursday night. So if, if you're a working adult and you need some extra tutoring help, you can go in there. If you're um, uh, just a more traditional student and you're here on campus, you can pretty much go into that lounge area anytime and say, I need help with 210. And um, remember, you're, you're, you're dealing with physicists so, or physics majors, so you've got to be um, talk nice to them. Because you know how you tell when a, when a physics major is an extrovert? He looks at your shoes when he's talking to you. Right? But anyway, um, so just let him know and that they'll be more than happy to help you, okay? All right, it is warm in here. Um, some of you um, are, are, I'm sure, are illegally parked. Um, are there any questions? Yes, ma'am. Um, for the lab. Yes. Um, I had to enroll in the early lab or early class and come to the late class, and I saw that there's the second lab that was added, but then it has a, a lecture that's to to be announced, I believe. Yeah, those are the those are the guys that are getting the, the doing the video course. You may go to that lab. You can transfer to that lab and just come to, just just show up at that lab. Okay. okay? So any of you that I almost want to say kill the tape, but I'm going to say this anyway. Any of you that um, think that going to lab on Monday will be easier, you may show up there. You may go to the Monday lab. Just make sure that your lab instructor gets your name and all that stuff, all right? And the other lab instructor will turn in this grade saying you flunked the lab, but I'll know because I'll get your name from the other lab instructor, so it'll be okay, all right? So that'll, that'll help because right now, so you need to do a change, well, just go to that lab, but you'll be on my 210A rolls which is be kind of screwy, but we do that all the time, okay? What's that? It's 5 o'clock. It's at 5 o'clock on the lab. So it's still a late lab because this class was always set up to be for working adult type people, non-traditional students. Any other questions? All right. Go out, get your textbook, however you're going to do it, okay? And... Um, I'll see you all on Thursday, and we'll, we'll cover chapter one in one day. <laughs>